So this is kind of a, uh, a section of Troopers Day. Yesterday I bought off eBay uh, a 1700 scale Athena from Starship Troopers at the end of the movie and Roger Young from the beginning and the entire movie. Uh, and I just did a, I just pulled out my already existing Athena kit and looking at it, um, it's towards the end of the, the, um, the mold life of this kit from Monsters in Motion. So what I said is, when the new kits come, I think it's in the same scale. I'm going to compare the differences because the person I'm buying it from secondhand, I think it's had the kit for a while. So it's uh, um, so it's probably in better shape. The, the one I have is, is kind of uh, towards the end of the, of the mold life. So after doing that, I decided to pull out these and do a review of these. Um, if you don't know this, and I don't think anyone does because I didn't know it for the longest time. I just found out about it about a month ago. Um, there's really no kits for um, Starship Troopers. I mean, the Starship Troopers is based off the book from uh, Highland. Um, there's a, he did a few books, and it's kind of a weird amalgamation. It's not, it's not really based off the books. Some of the general ideas, but it's been um, really changed around a lot. But the only kits that you can get are aftermarket kits. The the two that I mentioned, and then the Warp models makes a kind of a bug diorama, the Warrior Bug. But what I did find when I was sort of searching through eBay, someone had missed um, categorized. Um, these, these are actually gaming miniatures. Uh, I'm not a gamer. I, I've seen, you can go to hobby stores, you have those tables set up, and I sometimes see people playing, and there's, um, you know, like, Lord of the Rings kind of stuff, I don't, but I'm not really into the gaming stuff. Um, but I, I've seen uh, Dr. Flausto's painting clinic, and he paints a lot of miniatures, and they're, they're highly detailed, and they're really cool if they go to whatever genre you're in, and I'm not really into the, the, the orcs and the knights and the wizards and that kind of stuff, um, but... This is some really cool Starship Trooper stuff, and I'll show you a few of them. This is um, uh, the Blaster Bugs. I don't remember what scene these are from. I, I think these I think these are the ones when Doogie Hauser uh, when they capture the Brain Bug and they're fighting in that big field and the um, and Zim's out there, um, which by the way that, that dude he uh, he's the guy that was in Earth Two if you remember that show. He's also the voice for Mr. Krabs and a, a bunch of other stuff. He also was in uh, Enterprise. On the sand planet where he was trying to help the insurgents. I can't remember his name, but that was uh, Private Zim or Drill Instructor Zim. Uh, but these are those bugs from that scene, I think, because I don't really remember them too much. <laughs> and when you buy them, they come in different uh, different um, sets, with, like, meaning like this only has one in there, and I'll get to that one in a minute. This one has three. And then, uh, so here's the thing, if you're going to buy the miniatures thing, if you're, or if you're going to buy these because you want to do a diorama or you just want the, the miniatures or whatever you want to do, um, then I would recommend actually buying the actual kit. Uh, if you just get the actual kit, it comes with like 36 detailed miniatures. Um, some of them you don't really care about, or maybe you won't care about, like all the, the powered armor, the mobile infantry. That's They're not too impressive. But what is impressive is you get like hopper bugs and stuff and a few other things. Oh. And these right here, these are the warrior bugs. These are the ones that at the beginning of the movie stabbed the cameraman and again were there at the end. <coughs> um, when you buy, if you look on eBay for these, these go for over 40 bucks, if not like 60 or 80 bucks. And I think it just comes in a three pack. Um, when you buy the kit, I can't remember how many come in there. It doesn't say right here, but I think it's like a lot. It's like a dozen or more. Maybe it's like two dozen. Maybe it's two dozen of these come in there. And these kits will sell for as low as 50 bucks or as expensive as 100 bucks. Um, it depends. Sometimes when a few more get on the market, then it goes down to like 50 bucks. I was going to buy one and then I forgot about it and ended up selling for 50 bucks. When it comes to all the other gaming stuff, um, I don't know what the hell you do with it if you're not going to play the game. And then the other ones you get, here's the mobile infantry. It's right there. Um, I haven't seen them up close, so I can't tell you how accurate they are. Here are some of the other, um, I mean, it's kind of like a, uh, what do you call the, the, the scout, the ad at scout? It looks like the ad at scout. And I don't know if this is just from the game, the miniatures game, or if this is from his books, because his books were totally different. They had powered arm. I mean, the books are very different than the way the movie looks. So I don't know if this follows the books, or if it follows um, a, a different um, gaming storyline, or what it is. And, I, and I've seen Starship Troopers 2, which I think had really nothing to do with the whole lot. Shit, maybe, maybe I only saw part of it. And I, I never saw Starship Troopers 3. And then here are the warrior bugs. I mean, you just look at them. There's so much can, you can do, and with the different colors, you can really do a lot. And then the hopper bugs. These are the flying bugs that flew into the um, the Mormon um, settlement, colony settlement, 
towards the beginning, middle movie part. And these are really cheap. They're like 20 bucks and you get, they come with like a six pack. It comes in a three pack. It says three pack. And I think they look like crap, so I've never bought them. On the back too, is the Babylon 5 miniatures game, which I've never seen. I've never bought any of this stuff. Um, I don't know if it's worth getting or not. I like to buy a couple, just check it out. The ships that you can get, um, like the Brain um, um, Flying Saucer. Um, what else? Some Bakuri ships. There's a few different um, Mimbari ships. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, Centauri, man. Um, someone made a large scale Centauri cruiser at one point, but I can't find that anywhere, so maybe you can get it in this. You could definitely do a scene, check the scale out. You know, like a scene where, you, if you remember when Babylon 5 was offering aid to the Narn um, heavy cruiser and the Centauri cruiser came, that would be a great scene to make. And then I don't know anything about Gangs of, uh, Gangs of Mega City, I don't know anything about that. And then this is the, um, from Mongoose, that's just their um, their art in general, it doesn't have a whole lot to do with anything. But that's that. So, each one of these sprue is one kit. And step one, it's uh, I guess they don't have a thorax, this is just the abdomen. You put that together, you put like, you put it together, you put the butt piece, I guess that's the thorax. Then you put, uh, I guess the upper mandible, or maybe those are the eyes and the lower mandible. And then you assemble, oh well, maybe that's the thorax. You, you, you assemble that part, and you put it together. I'm not too keen on my bug parts. And then, that's it. And that's just, uh, if I remember right, Someone was saying these kits are like made of some kind of weird material. It's not quite. It's a different kind of plastic, I guess. So if you don't remember these bugs from the movies too much, why would you buy the kit? It's because I bought the other kits, and they're so detailed that they're awesome. The detail is so nice on that. Imagine just putting a wash on there, or even just giving a, just doing the highlights, two shade highlight. And if you're if you're gonna get this and you haven't painted miniatures, I would I would suggest watching Dr. Flausto's Paint Clinic. Um, he goes really step by step, sort of on the fast side, but there's a lot of steps, so it's not bad. Meaning there's a lot of repetition, so it's not so bad. Um, and he shows you how to properly highlight using complementary colors and um, kind of some other terms I don't know. Uh, and I'm not really much of a painter. I'm certainly not a painter in comparison to someone like that. But he'll show you, if you watch him, how to go from, you have like, you know, whatever color you painted, well, how do you make it have that realistic look? He'll show you the highlights and, and, and mixing colors and um, how do you choose different colors and how do you make it look real by adding, by doing the shadows and whatnot, you know? It's just super cool. When he's done with this stuff, he's pretty prolific. He, he paints quite a bit and he has a lot on his channel. There's just a lot there. So if you're going to do this, you may want to check that out, unless you already know how to do it, which I don't. So this is a pretty um, detailed kit. Um, I wouldn't get it too much unless <clears throat> you you already have a bunch or you remember this creature. I don't remember too much from the movie. Um, I'm going to get the warrior bugs, but uh, unless I go cheap, which I don't, I'm just going to wait and buy the, um, I showed you the, uh, the whole set. And then you get 30, you get more than you ever need. You know, all you have to do is buy a few other kits. Like right here is the plasma bug, and then there's actually a brain bug, and a tanker bug. Those are the only three other ones. And they should start getting to like the mobile infantry and stuff, which they looked kind of cheesy to me. I'm not really. There's things called, um, was it called mech warriors? And, um, all that, all that like sort of like that, uh, Japanese animation that's sort of American, all those like mech warrior kind of stuff. That's what this stuff looks like. I'm not really into it, so I'm not even sure what the proper names or terminology is. But uh, I don't dig that stuff, so not too much into that. So here's a cool one. This is the one I bought first. I bought it because I didn't realize it was like a gaming miniature when I was looking at them. And when I bought it, I didn't realize it was a gaming miniature. And it's so damn big that it doesn't matter. <clears throat> this is the same ad. Yep, all the same ad. And this is the instructions. I'll show you the instructions first because the bug is cool, dude. There's the finished, um, finished one. And that paint job does not do it justice. The paint job's horrible. Um, so uh, there's the thorax, there's the abdomen, and then you have to put these like petals on. 
which are these. Uh, then there's your lower body, whatever you call that, and all your different legs. And then your head. And you can see, like, see these little things right here, like almost like finials. Some of this stuff, you can imagine putting little, um, like, whiskers, like, um, either from a, a, a firm brush or if you had, like, not goat, you know, who would have goat hair laying around, but, uh, like a goat hair's brush or something. Some firm, let's put some whiskers in there or on the abdomen underneath or something. It looks so damn good. Or back in here, maybe even down here. Take a little bit of, um, artistic license. And then when you look at this kit, man, this thing is just sick. So these are not the same. These parts are duplicated. So here are your legs. I'm trying to figure out how it goes. How does that go? Why does that look all weird? Okay. So there you go. This goes into the this goes into the body right here. It goes into the abdomen or whatever, and this goes down and then you put your add your foot. Here's the it's at the top. It's the bottom of your head. It's the bottom, so it goes like that. And there's a top that goes on top. I mean, look at that. Imagine what you can do with that, man. And this is the, I think the butt joint, basically. That's where the big ball part goes into. And here are the feet. Here's the bottom of the feet. Top of the feet, look at that. And he does a lot of stuff where he does, um, uh, and, and Dr. Flaus does. He does horns and stuff for various things. For the gaming miniatures, and this this would be you. You could watch the videos. You'd know exactly how to do these toenails, these claws. <clears throat> and these are just more legs. Same thing, uh, more legs. And I'll show this again because it's the coolest part. Here are your your pedals. You've got a lot of detail. And this stuff is heavy, man. But this is really really heavy. Super thick stuff. I mean, it's thicker than the NX, the 350 NX. It's thick, man. That's where all the legs go into. I don't know if these things are posable or what, or if they're static. And then here is the thorax. And this part, I always get it backwards. Let's see, it goes like this. I don't know what part. Oh, maybe it goes like. Maybe it does go like this. It does go like this. It goes like this. And if you remember, and this is where the pedals go, right here. So it goes like this. And if you remember, um, towards the end parts of the movie, I'm not exactly sure where, um, what happens is these bugs come out, <clears throat> their butts glow, you know, that blue glow, and they poop out a big plasma stream. That's basically, it's artillery. So these are like the arty bugs right here. Um, and they just keep go shooting our arty out. And what you can do, what I was thinking about doing, is this stuff is super thick, right? So I'm going to sand it down, get it thinner, and towards the middle, right? Because it, it glows. It's not a crisp line. It's not like a window. This is, You're not doing, like, um, you know, the neck on the Toss 350. You're not getting super sharp and getting perfect. You're not doing that. It can, you can see, it, remember, this is an organic structure. So where it's low, which means it's high here, sand that down, you know, towards the edge, pretty much towards the edge, right? Um, and then you're going to mask off, if you need to, I, I assume you do, you're going to mask off in between everything, right? Um... And then you're gonna, is that backwards? Okay, you're gonna mask off the front, you know, the part you sand down, and then you're you're gonna paint. So you're gonna have you're gonna have your primer in all the grooves, right? Or you can even just paint it first and then sand. I guess that makes more sense. You don't have to mask. But paint the whole thing with your with your um with your um light blocking layer. And I don't think you need to go too heavy because this this shit is thick, man. Um, and then sand down. In fact, I don't think you even need light, light blocking. But I think you're gonna have to put a bright enough light in here. So you get through here that you may want to apply block, which is what I think I'm going to do. And then you sand in here, and then all you have to get is a power, powerful enough LED or set of LEDs. And all you have to do is get um, a potentiometer, and you can adjust the brightness, or get some kind of glowing circuit. Actually, what would work is if you got one of those um, little fire kits they sell for model railroad trains. That might work. Or you're going to want something that's going to want to build up. So I don't know what kind of kit you would use for that. Or if you just want this just to glow, just it's just on, that's it. But that's pretty cool because this is one of the only kits that I can think of from Starship Troopers where you can actually add lighting to it. Um, where you can light up the eyes for the warrior bugs or something. That doesn't make a, it's kind of dorky. Um, but instead of just having a static display, you can have that. So this is a super cool kit. <coughs> the other ones you can get is the Tanker Bug um, 
And those are the ones that came out of the ground and they shot like um, acid or whatever on all their soldiers uh, and Marines. They shot acid all over them uh, and melted them. And then there is, you can get the brain bug, but I've only seen that one time and it was so expensive that I don't think it's worth it, but it's pretty damn cool. And I'm forgetting one. The wire bugs I already showed you. The hopper bugs, they look like toys. They don't look cool. Um, I'm missing one. Tanker bug, brain, I said brain bug. Huh, I can't remember the other one. Hopper bug. But the, um, these go actually go for as cheap as 20 bucks. Um, and even with free shipping or with shipping, I don't think these are made anymore. Um, but they seem like there's a lot still out there. Not a lot, a lot, but enough of the prices don't get crazy. Um, if you really super want this bad, uh, buy the the actual game, and that's a it's you know pay about eighty bucks. It's probably what you're gonna pay, maybe a hundred bucks. Um, and you're not gonna get this, and I don't know if you get these or not. But you'll get the main set. You get the warriors. You don't need to buy any more warriors. You buy that, and you're all set on, on a lot of it. Um, and then the blister bugs are pretty cheap. Or the plasma bugs are pretty cheap. Uh, I kind of want to get like one more maybe to do kind of like basically this a, a little line of when I when I get when I go to build it I'll look at the um I'll look at the movie again and see what it looks like but from my from the way I remember it's a night scene they're shooting the plasma out and I think the mobile infantry shoots them in the butt and they explode I think if I remember right um the blister bugs I have to remember where they're from I would love to do a scene where they're doing the um with the the Mormon base the um oh what's his name. The big more John Smith, um, where they're they're uh, overrunning the John Smith outpost. That would be super cool. Uh, the way I imagine it is kind of like four or five different builds, not just build. I don't want just a bug, but like a, a like basically a diorama. Here's the blister bugs. Here's the warrior bugs. Maybe even the brain. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing the brain in the cave with um, the dude that looks like Robert Lowe. Um, and Denise Richards, that would be cool. Or even have it where they're pulling the bug out of the hole and Zim's pulling him out and Doogie's there. Uh, trying to think what else. I guess that's it. Although the tanker bug, when it comes out of the ground, that's super cool. And what I like about these is I've been wanting to do some kind of terrain stuff. Um, uh, doing scale mining with trains, I haven't really got into that. Not trains, but terrain. Um, and it's a good excuse when you have a, something like this you can do like if you do like the Jupiter 2 you do the B9 You have some it's an excuse to do some terrain, which is what I've been wanting to do um, But these are pretty available and not too expensive um, If you're gonna buy a brain bug, they're pretty damn rare. You're gonna pay a hundred bucks if you buy Warrior bugs, they're overpriced by the by the kit Plasma bugs are pretty cheap and then I've seen the Athena and the Roger Young come up quite a bit also Larson designs uh, makes a small Roger Young and Athena, he sells on eBay all the time. It's 10 bucks, but it usually gets bid up to around 15 or 16. But it's it's about that big. So that would make a cool little scene. If you remember um, a little while ago, Steve Neal did a um, Space 1999 Eagle Transport, like in a diorama, like landing thing. You could do the same thing with like a flotilla. You bought like five or six of um, the Roger Youngs and the, and the Athenas. I don't know if you'd really mix them, but maybe you could. Uh, you could do a really cool thing right there. All right, thanks for watching.